It's Steve and Ariana. It's uh, Saturday. There should have been a parade in Littleton today, but because of the rain that you guys can see, I can't. So we're going shopping. And hopefully get lunch in our favorite place, the Mexican restaurant that is cheesy rice. Does Grandpa need anything from the store before we're going out? Not that I know of. He was halfway asleep. So. Yeah, I figured he was just not responding to text messages. Yeah, I went and woke him up. Oh, okay. I know you have terrible, just like, you know, my phone service is terrible at my house. At least we have the internet. I know you guys don't have the internet, which just makes it even harder for your phone. So where do you think we should go? Where do you want to go? Roses? Sure. Or should we go to Walmart? Okay. It's your preference. I'm going to look for some hoodies and stuff, so. Roses first. Yeah, that was a mess of meat in the road. Are you tuning out already? No. So I washed my school hoodie yesterday, or no, the day before, and I went to lunch and got mustard on it. I was so mad. You're like me, you'll wear your food. Remind me, I'll get you a bib. No, I'm not I'm sure, wearing that. I'm sure they have bibs at uh, Roses. I used to embarrass my daughters whenever we went out someplace fishing, like pasta, any red sauce, or some kind of clam casino or anything like that. I'd put a bib on because I always had spots on me. My, my kids would be like, what are you doing? That's so embarrassing. I'm trying to save a shirt. Saw the new girl work out last night. Good. She seemed like she's a good worker. Yeah, she's doing good. So. Hunter's on the side of the road here? Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't think you're an hunter. Just a wee bit populated. So uh, we'll be open to the museum at 1. Uh, yesterday was a decent day. Not amazing, but a decent day. It's been really kind of sluggish lately. So I'll see if we can get Pesty to help a little bit. We'll probably be getting there early. Depends on the restaurant. I think they open at 11. What? Mexican place, I think they open at 11, right? I'll see. So you left like me a voicemail. That's so funny. I'm old school. I know. I see. <laughs> Probably in the toilet and didn't have your phone, but I should know better. Eleven. Than that. Yeah, okay, good. No, I was talking to my grandfather. I know your I phone's was attached to your hip, so I'm just. I was making him toast. Oh, that's sweet. I can be nice once in a while. <laughs> you didn't put poison on the toast. No, we don't have any of that. <laughs> you look for it. <laughs> I think I did. Okay. I tell you, besides the fact it's drizzly. Overcast. It's really nice out. It's warm. It wouldn't be a bad day for the park. Ooh, we could have went there too. Maybe we'll swing back around that way. We'll see how fast we eat. I don't know. You can't move after a belly full of food, though. When I eat there, I eat too much. I can barely get in the truck. There's another hunter on the side of the road here. Why? Why are they hunting here? He's like a bunch of dogs out here, is he? Stop it. We saw homes here. How the hell do you hunt here? Got me. Got me. Deer meat is really good. How did you get on that subject? Because you were talking about hunting. Hunting? I don't think I can eat deer either because it's a hoof. It is really good. I've only had deer a couple of times. And, uh, I used to eat it all the time. One time a neighbor of mine made it. He did some kind of marinade with it. But it was all right. I mean, I learned I like it because they gave it to me, and I didn't know it was deer meat. Yeah, that's one way to do it. My grandmother used to make tripe, that? and that's the lining of the cow's stomach. Oh no! It's this weird spongy thing. It looks almost like honeycomb, and, and it's all you're eating really is the sauce she made. She made a really good, you know, some sauce. And otherwise, it's kind of rubbery stuff you're munching on. Um, but once I was told what it was, I just kind of lost my appetite for it. I used, well, I tried bear meat too. 
Hmm? Like bear. Bear? I've never eaten bear. Bear's I've eaten alligator. Disgusting. You probably ate an alligator. alligator. You're from Florida. No. I know you used to eat a lot of squirrel. You were big on squirrel on a stick, right? No. Are you talking about a Chinese place? <laughs> I thought that's, that. That's cat. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've ate that though. <laughs> you made cat? <laughs> I mean, I didn't know what it was. It tastes good. So. <laughs> actually, in some countries, they actually eat dog, and I'm sure cats too. But dog is, you know, they've been trying to save them. They, you see these pens, and the dogs are just crammed in. I mean, and they just take them out and butcher them. You see a lot of weird stuff in other places. We're kind of very standardized. Some people I hear really eat gross stuff like sweaty peanuts in a can. I don't know who would do that. I don't know any person that would do that. So you're going to be more experimental with the, your lunch today? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Obviously, because I get the same thing too, but I'm kind of I'm stuck in that chicken thing. I just don't like the stuff. No vegetables for you. No. We eat a breakfast at church tomorrow. I'll probably hear the lightning strikes from my house. Shut up! I am a good, godly child. Uh, well, you go enough. We got you going at least twice a week now, right? Yeah. yeah that's good. Do -do. I know Jesus is watching you because I've seen the photos. Shut up, that's you. <laughs> I have to stick that in. There's a photo of Jesus leaning into the frame instead of watching you. That's scary. Silly. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> All right. We're going to hit the big hill here. We'll talk to you guys later. So I'm do a little video as we head out. If anything exciting happens, we'll shoot another one. I'll probably be doing something in the uh, museum later. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen today. And then off to Sunday, I'm actually waiting for a delivery. I gotta, just my mind, I gotta check on the house and the dogs. Because my uh, Maureen's picking up another dog today that we have to re, re rescue. But anyway, talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, we'll have fun. <laughs>